Nigerians have expressed mixed reactions about their expectations for this year. While some are hopeful based on certain positive indices, others are apprehensive as a result of the persistent inflation, among other negative factors. Chris Sayid Lugasin has a report. Mr. Oriri Emmanuel Eni, in an interview with Quest News, conveyed a strong sense of optimism for this year, drawing attention to the Port Harcourt refinery as a case study. He posited that a potential decrease in the prices of crude oil could lead to a corresponding reduction in prices of other items. It's very, very big because since he has uh, started with the refineries working, they said the River State, precisely Port Harcourt refinery has started and soon as the other two refineries will kick off. So with that, I will be expecting very good from the president. In addition to the high price of items, I think they will definitely drop. Because where the problem lies is the fueling. As soon as the petrol goes up, every other thing goes up. As soon as the petrol comes down, every other thing comes down. So my expecting that the price of things will come down. Mrs. Kate Omoife Oba highlighted the burden of soaring for prices which had led her to abandon a car due to the high cost of petrol for a daily commute. She also expressed frustration with the continuous increase in commodity prices at the market on a weekly basis. Regarding the new minimum wage, Mrs. Omoife doubted its sufficiency, stating that it won't adequately address the financial challenges faced by workers struggling to support their families. For me, I want the fuel to come that the, 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 the price is too high. Because from my place to this place, I spend 800 naira on keke. If it is bike, it's 1,000 or something. So the thing is, it's too much. I have a car. I can never drive that car because of the price of fuel. Yeah. Don't go down, Reiko. Things are very, very on the high side. These are very, very expensive. Imagine people selling chicken for this uh, Christmas and New Year, 25,000. Is it uh, 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 goat's meat we are, we are buying? Just common chicken. Just because the food we are feeding them is on the high side. You understand? It will not be enough for Tomio. It will not be enough at all. Giving us 35% uh, uh, percent of a uh, minimum wage. Eh? Even though you take that money to the market, it will not be anything. There was a day, bag of rice, 62,000. I went to market with uh, 40,000 naira with paper bag. I was thinking I lost the money. So the things are very, very expensive. People, we, even with the civil service, we are not happy. We are not happy at all. We are not happy. For example, that somebody that retired so many years, instead of giving that person some millions of naira, they are giving the person two million after working for 35 years. Uh, things are very, very bad. Another respondent, Mrs. Augustina Akwe, expressed mixed sentiment, oscillating between optimism and pessimism as she shared her perspective. She noted minimal changes between the previous and current administrations, highlighting her disappointment that the present president hasn't clearly articulated his plans for Nigerians in terms of a manifesto. Sessions are not high because uh, looking from uh, the, the, the look of uh, things now, is like uh, this uh, new government now is actually continuing what the older government uh, was uh, doing. So I don't really expect things to change because actually the person that is in power now never told us anything that he wants to uh, uh, actually uh, do for us as uh, Nigerians. Uh, I would say one, the hike in prices is due to the hike in uh, petroleum uh, product i would like a situation whereby those uh, the prices of uh, the petroleum products should a kind of uh, be brought down so that the prices of things can equally come down to the barest minimum